figure out what it is, what it shall be. I need to know what it is right now. Salute to Lottie Dot and everybody that shows up into another hardcore party. What it is, what it shall be, my good people. Yes, indeedy. Yes, indeedy. Good to see everybody back in the building. And if you can hear the sound of my voice right now, that's letting me know that God is giving you another opportunity to be great. He's giving you another opportunity to get it right on a Friday. On a Friday. Yes, indeed. And I'm so happy to be in the number. I'm so happy to be here before you all, man, for show. And uh, hey, let's see who's already in the building. Well, you already knew who should have been on that first spot. Mike Rim. Uh huh. Uh huh. That's him. What's up, Mike Rim? He said, Good morning, everybody. Then we got the Rise Podcast hashtag JBT. Good morning. Hit that like button and let's go. Then we got Cousin Pete, Naeem the Dream. Yes, indeed. He said, Good morning, hardcore family. Hit the like him and button for show. Sure. He got it right. He got it right on a good Friday. Lonnie Lee, hashtag JBT. Say good morning to the J and the Hangout. Al Booker say it's Friday. Yes, and he know. He know it's Friday. Yes, indeed. And I'm happy that it is. I don't know how these days be moving so fast but it does man it does next we got my guy hori Franks. what's up hori hashtag jbt he said yo yo peoples what it do doc and lovely in the house doc and lovely is in the house melanin queen 27 Says good morning, J Hardcore Hangout fam. Happy Friday, salute and blessing. Back at you, Doc and Lovely. How you feeling this morning? Yes, indeed. We got Remo. What's up, Shawty? He says salute. The king is in the building. Oh Lord. <laughs> what it is, what it shall be. Good to see everybody that's up in here this morning, man. Glad to see you. I tell you what, let me grab my good cup of Java and I'll be right back at you. Hold on one second. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> hey, Lonnie Lee, I sound like Sergeant, what you call him on G. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Lonnie Lee know what I'm talking about. When I, <laughs> that's crazy. Saying like I forgot the sergeant name on uh, uh, G Street. He'd be like, "Oh yeah." <laughs> uh, inside joke, y'all. Dark and lovely say it's great day to be alive. Amen. And a boom shagalaga to that good sis. Yes, indeed. Some people didn't make it. Some people did not make it, man. I think that's why I get up so early, <laughs> just in case. Like I can cheat death or something. You did. Yo, when your number's up, it ain't nothing you can do, Jack, at all. <laughs> but I tell you what, one thing I do have control of is this first sip of coffee, man. Yes, indeed. If you got your cup right now, man, grab your cup right now and have a uh, cup of this good java with me, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, let's do it. Mm. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Hold on. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. One more. Ah. Yes, indeed. Man, God knew what he was doing when he made the coffee bean, man. Yeah, when he made that coffee bean, man, he knew what he was doing. And I ain't going back and forth with none of y'all about it either. 
Shout out to the Coffee Bean King. <laughs> Hey, hey, it's Friday, man. So y'all know how we get down on Fridays, man. For the last couple of weeks, man, it just started cutting up on a Friday. Yeah, we get to cutting up on a Friday. I don't know if this Friday going to be any different. But, uh, yeah, then we got the Friday night hangout tonight as well. So, yeah, 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 yeah. We definitely, definitely, definitely uh, going to be uh, – how all hands on today for sure without a doubt man yes i slept good i can't say that much man i was in bed early man i think i was in bed 10 20 10 30 something like that i know i was asleep yeah 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 I, and i got back up shoot what three o'clock three or four o'clock because i called my mama yeah yeah she just like me she don't sleep at night man yeah, 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 yeah. We get a couple of hours in. So I called her about four in the morning, me and her rap for a minute. And uh, then I think I took a nap. I took a nap around 530. Yeah, and then someone called me around 730. So yeah, there you have it. <laughs> okay, Cousin Pete said, I got a five-hour gym day. I'll be watching, listening from the inside of the ring five hours wow man can't wait for your pro debut bro for show sure. five hour gym day man that's what's up man you should be just in immaculate shape man, without a doubt hey we got jared anderson he's fighting this weekend man yeah 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 he's fighting riot riot miri yeah, I think I pronounced his name right. Riot Neary, man. He's from Belgium. Yeah, he's from Belgium. Uh, and he has like an 82% KO ratio, man. So, if anything, the kid is cracking. The kid is cracking, man. Even though uh, Big Baby got a 90-something percent KO ratio. The guy he's fighting is from Belgium. It's about 5'11 and a half, damn near six feet, but not. And uh, you got Big Baby about 6'4". You know, so uh, Big Baby is definitely going to have the side advantage, size advantage. Uh, 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 the, the, the Belgium guy, they didn't even have his reach, so it must be he might got some T-Rex arms since they wouldn't even put it on there, you know. Yeah. He must got them T-Rex arms. Yeah, I got a little bit of that baked bean working right there, y'all. Forgive me. Mm-hmm. 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 Need that little bit of sugar in my life. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. I know. Jay, you need some internet cool. You have internet adequate. Man, I need a little bit of sweets in my life. Mm. So how everybody doing, man? Is everybody fine? Anybody doing anything exciting this weekend? You doing anything exciting? Anybody taking any trips or anything like that? Or just doing something exciting this weekend? I don't have any any plans. I know one of my buddies, they said they come in in town. Well, I'm already in town, so might hang out. Yeah, it might hang out. But yeah, man, uh, it's a Friday, man. It's a mastering that Southpaw. Okay. Are uh, you naturally Southpaw, uh, Naeem? Or you just want to be able to uh, be able to switch? Or you just want to be able to switch? Yeah, it's Friday. Where the rest of our people at, man? Let me find out they're a little slow to start this morning. Yeah, they're a little slow to start this morning. Shoot, the other day, boy, we had standing room only. Standing room only. For sure. But yeah, man, we got Jared Anderson against Riot Miri. Who you got on this, man? Who you think going to win, man? You know I'm writing it down. 
I'm writing it down. I'm checking it twice. Going to find out who Naughty and Nice for the uh, Crow Show. For the Crow Show. But, yeah, uh, go back and look at uh, their box racks real quick. Look at that box rack, man. man let me see. Uh, okay. Yeah, the dude is uh, ranked 30 in the world and uh, ranked number one in Belgium. He's had 177 rounds, 34 bouts, uh, 81% KO ratio. Vada approved. Uh, he's in the Vada, Vada testing program. His age is 31 years old. Okay. Okay. That's not too old when it comes to the heavyweight division, though. Mike Garner said he got uh, Jared. Okay. Got you written down. Gotcha. 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 Yeah, like I said, the guy is uh, 5'11 and a half. He won his last fight against Tony Yoka with a split decision. Uh, the fight before that, he lost by unanimous decision to a guy named Kevin Lorena. But before that, he was on the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven fight uh, streak. Yeah, okay. I thought at first I, I seen this name Zhang on his uh, record, but it ain't the Zhang we know. It's another Chinese guy named Zhang. With the first name with a Z as well, but it's not Zilly. It's Zagzin. Zagzin Zhang. Yeah, yeah. So he, he, he doesn't have a bad record. I, I mean, the names on his record are not familiar. But, I mean, he's from... Uh, Belgium, so there you have it. Uh, but yeah, he, he's only lost twice. He's only lost twice. He's 32 and 2. He been KO'd once. Yeah, he got KO'd by a guy named Arson Gumerian that was 22 and 0. An undefeated fighter KO'd him. TKO them back in 2018. Yeah, he got KO TKO in 2018 by Arson Gula Maririn. Yeah. Okay. And in 2023, he lost by unanimous decision against Kevin Lorena, who is 28 and 2. And he's fighting Jared Anderson, as we all know, Big Baby, who's ranked 21 in the world uh, right now. And they got him ranked number three in the United States. I'm not sure uh, which has him ranked three, number three. He's had 16 bouts, 46 rounds, has 93% KO ratio, bottle approved. And uh, six four, orthodox, seventy eight and a half reach. Now, I was checking in the news recently. Uh, Big Baby said lately he been studying Shakur Stevenson, so he's been watching how Shakur fights and learning Shakur's ways. And I guess he's going to be implementing some of uh, Shakur's style. Uh, this weekend no jokes y'all no jokes i know somebody gonna say something funny William old school what up William old school the rage occasion is in the building what's up with you guy mm -hmm. oh yeah coffee and baked beans you gotta love it that's right. Smash that appreciation button. Matter of fact, I'm going to go over there right now and smash it myself. Got 15 watching, 16 watching right now. 
and nine appreciations. Ten appreciations, eleven. Damn. I know you done rushed in here real quick. Wi-Fi just did some boogie with me. I don't know what that was about. His big ass too big to be playing hit and not get hit. <laughs> well, hopefully he doesn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> you know Remo can stand the heavyweights, man. He call them dinosaurs and shit. <laughs> Remo, why you like? Why you hate the uh, 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 the heavyweight so bad? Not in the dream. Say I got my second win, Jay. Your boy been working, working. Okay, okay. You got to send us some footage, man. Send me some workout footage, man, so I can post it. Yeah, send it to my DM. So we can uh so we can post you on the uh pages. So people can get behind you, man. Mike Garner said he's probably because of all that damn rain we've been getting. Frontline is in the building. What's up, frontline? I think you've been in here before. Uh, you look familiar. So, yeah, matter of fact, I know you've been in here. I never forget. I never forget a name. I try not to anyway. So we want to welcome Frontline back into the hangout. For sure. Yeah, make sure y'all uh, welcome back, Frontline. He said because they old and lazy, heavyweight shouldn't mean six five with a bill bear beer belly oh my goodness i got you bet jay we had took some yesterday they're editing it i got you nah man we want raw footage man we don't want no editing <laughs> just messing with you just do boxing what up what's up Definitely a pleasure. Always a pleasure to see Jess do boxing in the building. Uh, we got 17 appreciations, 21 uh, watching. Uh, my fault. I know what it is. I have not spoken to my mighty boys. Uh, salute to the mighty boys. You know who you are. The ones that like to watch. Forgive my manners. Yes, indeed. Now, go hit that appreciation button now. Yeah, hit that appreciation button now. <laughs> we need 100% appreciation up in here. Mm-hmm. Cups back up. All right. So it looked like uh, Big Baby going to be fighting a puncher. You did. Who y'all got? Do you got Big Baby or do you got Ryan? Ryan. Who y'all got? Uh, Mike Gunn already said that he got a uh, Big Baby. I'm going with Big Baby too. I'm going with Big Baby. You know, it seemed like I don't know. When foreigners come over, they do fight hard. Yeah, when they when foreigners come over, man, and they fight us, they fight us hard, man. Because I mean, you know, that opportunity to come into America and making it great, Jack. So I'm pretty much sure this guy's gonna come over here and really try to put a uh, big baby through the ringer. Yeah, I think he's gonna really try to put him through the ringer, man. You know, especially when you know he got that punch. He got that punch. I worry about Big Baby, man, because I, I really don't believe that he's 100% in the game. And just by uh, his conversations, man. You know what I mean? 4,500. Yeah, Lewis, 4,500, man. I don't, you know, his conversations get me. Because he's already talking retirement. 
So it just makes me think that it's not something that he loves doing. He's doing it definitely for the money. So I wonder how much passion is it for working out and everything else, man. You know, because uh, you got to love this sport, man. Because if you don't, it will expose you. I've seen it time after time after time after time. You cannot play boxing. Y'all know what I'm talking about. You cannot play boxing, man. It will expose you. The fact that Big Baby doesn't dedicate himself to the sport, and I don't know shit about the other guy, I'm staying neutral on this fight, okay? <laughs> Tampa Tommy in the building. What up, Tampa Tommy? He said, good morning. Good morning back at you, my guy. Yeah, yeah. LaMarcus Robinson. LaMarcus Robinson in the building. What's up, LaMarcus Robinson? Salute Jay and the Hangout. Salute to you, my guy. Lewis Hinton. What's up, Lewis Hinton? Thumbs up. I appreciate it. Like that uh, lion icon you got. Are you a Leo or you just love lions? Which one is it? Or both? Mm-hmm. I watched a uh, a, a, a short this morning. I don't know how in the hell, but this guy ended up in the lion's cage, man. Yes, indeed, man. And the lions was going after his ass. He said, I just like lions. Okay, that's what's up. Yeah, they're regal animals, man. I love lions too, man. I love their characteristics and everything. I, I like how they rock out, man. I like how the male lion, you know. The male lion be chilling, yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He sent his woman out. She go out and uh, she go hunt. Yeah, yeah, she go hunt and he protect. He protect the pride, man, and she feed it. He sleep all day and up all night. An eternal creature. Yes, indeed, an eternal creature. And when it's time, the young lion will challenge the old lion for, for the pride, man. Yeah, yeah, just like in boxing, no different. No different. The young, the young man will, will, will try the old man for the belt or the position or the name or whatever. I guess it's just part of the pecking order, you did. Hmm. Oh, I took a good goal for that one. Yes, it did. My brother in here, Tim Layton in here. I didn't see him. Tim Layton in here. My brother from another mother. He been working like crazy. Nah, he's not in here. I guess somebody was just speaking to him. No, there he go. There go my brother from another mother. He said, salute, family. Good morning. It's Friday. Yes, it did. What's up, bro? You snuck in on me. I ain't see you come in the building, man. <laughs> what's, what's that face, Remo? <laughs> what's that face? Mr. All Access International, Kang Cobb, is in the building. The Kang is here. <laughs> What's up, senior? Good to see you. Wouldn't want to be you. <laughs> yes, indeed, man. Hey, hey, it's Friday, y'all. Uh. What is the plans, man? Who frying fish today? You know you're supposed to fry fish on Fridays, right? I don't know why, but yeah. Maybe that's what I do. I'll fry some fish, man. Man, we had some, I made some uh some uh fried catfish bites the other day. Man, didn't last long at all. 
yeah, the so-called uh, uh, vegetarians in my home became flexitarians and helped eat up the fish. <laughs> That's what I call them, flexitarians, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. What else? Okay, let me see something. Oh, wow. Wow. Congrats. Congrats. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Big wow. Okay. Okay. Lewis Hinton said, I don't like seafood. We had a lot of that today. I mean, yesterday... Mama Do and Miss Joette both said they don't like seafood. What's up with y'all non-seafood eaters, man? Where they do that at? That sounds like blasphemy, man. It really sounds like blasphemy, man. Don't eat seafood. As soon as I see food, I eat it. <laughs> Soon as I see food, I eat it. You better believe it. <laughs> One deep boxing. What's up? Say what's going on? You know I had to jump in the Toledo, Ohio conversation. How y'all been? We good. We good. Yeah, 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 yeah. What you got for us? Who you got? I need y'all to put in the chats, man, who y'all got. For the fight this weekend, man. Also, they got F.A. Jogba on the card. Is too. I, I, I love F.A. F. Jogba, man. He's exciting. He's exciting, man. For sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Old school say I got some red fish fillets in my freezer. I never had red fish before. Sound like it would be good, though. Red fish. I was watching Instagram uh, this morning and uh, somebody actually caught a blue fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when they filleted it, the fillet was blue. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about that, eating a blue fish. You did? Yeah, 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 yeah. Look like blue raspberry. Legacy defined LS is in the building, y'all. What's up, Legacy? Dog and lovely say I love seafood. I know that's right, good sis. She like me. She love good eating. We love good eats. We like good eats. I'm trying to think what food I don't like. I'm trying to think what I don't like. Hmm. Ain't too many foods I don't like. I'm trying to think of something I don't like eating. I can't think of anything. Um, Remo say in Barbados they have something called flying fish fried up with a little pepper sauce and bakes yeah I've heard of flying fish before I heard of flying fish Mike Rim say blue fish is very fishy tasting yeah I don't want nothing to taste fishy no no fishy for me I mean, I know you got fish and fish supposed to taste like fish, but, you know, too fishy ain't good. That give me that. Uh, it ain't, you know. Being in boxing news say you don't like healthy foods. Good morning to you, too, uh, being in boxing news. Don't tell me what I don't like. I don't like healthy food. From what I understand, you eat everything I eat. So, obviously, you don't like healthy food either. You did? <laughs> yes, indeed. He's going to come up in here. Don't even say hello. Going to go straight to negativity. You did? Um, what else?
legacy defined ls ain't no better feeling than fishing for your own seafood now i'm down for that i love fishing period yeah i don't even have to eat the fish i just enjoy fishing period it's something about just being on that water or from the bank man and uh you against the fish yeah yeah nine times out of ten the fish normally win <laughs> but i yeah i could fish for 18 hours straight man I used to all the time. I don't, I don't. I don't know if I still got my fisherman legs like that anymore. Remo said, "Damn, I'm in the mood for some parrotfish." Yeah, the first time I ever heard about parrotfish, one of my friends, she went to Jamaica and she brought back parrotfish. I'm like, "How the hell you bring back fish from Jamaica?" Yeah, 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 yeah. For sure. Yeah, we got to go fishing. I know Lil Junior want to go back fishing. We got we we got to definitely uh, get a fishing trip going. Butterfish is amazing too. I never heard of butterfish though. I knew Mike Rim was gonna chime in on that one. He's talking about two hundred percent legacy defined. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love I love fishing, man. Uh, you know, I'm one of those professional casters. You know. I cast so far, man. They said, man, if you wanted to fish on the other side, you could have just went over there. Yeah, I'm one of them dudes. <laughs> I cast and hit land, Jack. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I hit land when I cast. Yeah, it ain't nothing like fishing, man. It ain't nothing. I'm going to tell you, it ain't nothing like fishing, man, when you got all your equipment, man. If you bring a tent, you got a lantern, you're fishing at night. Oh, yeah, man. Then you, you put the bell on your pole so you can hear it, especially if you got a dark pole. You don't even see it wagging. But if you got that bell on there, you'll hear it. Jay Hardcore, have you tried baked, smothered snails? No, I'm, I don't think I'll eat a snail, my guy. Yeah, I don't think I'll eat a snail. No. I don't think so. It looked too slimy. Slimy. No, I'm not going to eat a snail, my guy. I, I'm going to be honest, see, I don't like going on those charters, man, because for one, you're going for rockfish. They allow you only to get two rockfish, but yet they're going to charge me $150 to $200 for the uh, charter. I don't like that. No, I don't like that. So I'm paying $150 for two rockfish. Nah, I'd rather just fish off the land, man. You dig? I ain't had no problem when I had my own boat. When I had my boat, that was not even an issue. So I'd rather go on somebody's boat than a charter, man, because $150 for two fish. And a bunch of catfish? Nah. Them frog legs, something else. <laughs> all right, y'all. All right, all right. Let's get back to I tell you, we get to talking food up in here, boy. And y'all just going off the <laughs> Tim Layton say fishing was our cold word also back in the day. <laughs> Butter snail, not gonna have it, man. Boxing menu podcast, what it do? Wow, being in boxing said he has never been fishing before. That's crazy. Oh yeah, you out of town, man. You at your uh, frat frat uh, conference, right? We well, have fun, man. Yeah, I love me some snapper for sure. He said, I dropped the bells. I got the automatic pole setters. When the fish bite the bait, the pole catches it great when night fishing. Damn. I ain't know that even existed. Yeah, that makes sense. You're a New Yorker, so I can see you not being fishing before, Remo. Yeah, 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 yeah. That makes sense. But that man from Louisiana. How you from Louisiana ain't never been fishing before? 
Speckled Trout. I like that name, man. I bet you that's a good eating too, Speckled Trout. Red Fish and Black Drum. I had Black Drum, Black Drum. He said, is your rockfish, is that a perch? Nah, rockfish is a striped bass. Striped bass is our rockfish. Yeah, yeah, rockfish is a striped bass. And they got to be, I think they're 20, you got to have them 22 inches to even uh, take them home. Yeah, they got to be at least 22 inches for you to take them home. And if they, if they catch you with it, oh, Lord. Man, you mess around, lose your, your car and everything. Jess said he never been fishing either. All these city slickers, man. All these city slickers, man. I'm going to have to take y'all youngsters fishing, man. Yeah, I'm going to have to take the youngsters fishing, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. You right up there with Mike Rim. So, yeah, we might have, we all got to hook up with Mike. Mike got all the fishing holes up there. I come up, Jersey. I come up, Jersey. Oh, stuff, stuff rockfish ain't no joke, man. The best stuff rock I ever had, I caught in Baltimore City, man. This guy took me to his honey hole, man. And, man, let me tell you something. Them fish were biting like crazy, man. Yes, it did. I had old big old rockfish, came home and stuffed them with crab meat and shrimp. Woo-wee! Best stop playing. Bake that sucker, man. Right. He said, do I hear a road trip? Sure you want to do another road trip with me, singing? <laughs> Just say, let's do it. <laughs> Boxing menu said, I'm an Ohio dude. Okay. Okay. Yeah, but yeah, what do y'all think about Big Baby, though, man? Uh, do y'all think Big Baby has what it takes to become world champion? From what y'all have seen from him thus far, do y'all feel though that he has what what it takes? I don't know. I either, either, either. I don't think so. That's just my opinion. Because I got to look at who he got to be. You know what I mean. And, and and another thing, I think he's a little. You said I know what to expect now, Jay. <laughs> Lamarcus said, I used to go fishing a lot when I was young. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We call them striped bass. He said, y'all call them strippers. Now, we don't call them strippers. <laughs> That's a whole different type of fish over there. <laughs> hey, don't get me started. <laughs> Remo say, I don't see the heart of a champ. I see he's talented. Yeah. I Yeah, I don't, you know, I don't think he got what it takes the man to, uh, yeah, and I, I think I read something the other day where he's talking about, he don't, something about, I don't, yeah, I, he just got too much uh, conversation about talking too much about leaving boxing for me. Yeah, you can't have one foot in boxing and the other foot out. I'm going to tell you, when, you, when you do it like that, boxing will boxing will, 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 will show you that it, 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 it don't play. Yeah, yeah, you can't play boxing, man. I like Broner more. Yeah, Broner, my guy, man. I always love Broner, man. Broner, Broner man. And I heard if you actually knew Broner, that he's a real good individual from what I understand. I've never, I've never met him, met him. I mean, yeah, I have met him. Yeah, because of my fact, I took a picture with him one time, a long time ago, maybe over 10 years ago, when he had a winning record. Yeah, 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 yeah. By the fact, he announced uh, that he was fighting Marcos Madonna. Yeah, 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 and uh, 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 that was the first uh, 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 interview I had. 
Coach Calvin had a good point about Big Baby last night. It's not boxing. It's more the team around him. Okay. Okay. See, I think the pressure he's dealing with is real. He said, Jay, I just, okay, hold on, let me look. Yeah, that looked like it. That looked like a striped stripe bass. Yeah, striped bass. That's what it's supposed to be, a striped bass. Yeah, yeah, we call it rockfish. But uh, yeah, they don't let us take them home that little, though. That's a guppy. <laughs> That's a guppy you got right there, man. <laughs> yeah, boy, you lose your license bringing something that small home in, in Maryland, Jack. They don't play that. You, 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 let me find out you up there catching uh, uh, guppies, man. He said, yeah, that's what we call strippers. I told you about that, man. <laughs> you gotta stop catching them strippers uh mike rim <laughs> bad for your health <laughs> them strippers bad for your health <laughs> oh my goodness let me go back let me go back let me go back yeah, senior would tell you something different about them strippers. Uh, he said, you better get your glasses. That's 33 inches. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, you know, them pictures make them look smaller. <laughs> That's a 33? That's a big fish. That's a big fisherman for sure. You did, but you know how they say about us fishermen. <laughs> the fish get bigger and bigger on the way home. <laughs> especially the ones that got away. Yeah, especially the ones that got away. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you say I don't like strippers. I stopped going there when I was about 16. And he's gonna see strippers at 16, senior. You got a rough life, boy. I'm glad you're in therapy. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you're in therapy, man. BVL boxing TV in the building, y'all. Have y'all subscribed to BVL boxing yet? Go on over there and subscribe to the brother, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go on over there and subscribe, man. Appreciate that. Good guy. Very good guy, man. <laughs> Just do say the strip clubs are overrated. Hey, let me tell you something. The young cats that messed the strip club game up now. Yeah, yeah, man. They coming out with guns to shoot money out and all this. Man, I be damn. I be damn. I be damn, they didn't got them strippers, them strippers uh, spoiled. No sir, Bob. They just be in there. Nah, back in my day, they had to work for that dollar. <laughs> <laughs> they had to work for that dollar. Y'all got them too spoiled now. Mm-mm. Look. No average guy, man, couldn't even withstand a strip a strip a night out. Yes, it did. <laughs> he said Brona act like Brona. Just live too fast, too early. I know what you mean, senior. I did the same thing. Yeah, 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 I did the same thing. Grew up too fast, man. They called me a man child. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought I was grown at 13.
Price Boy 33. What it do? It's a skills right across the street from the gym. Used to be lit. <laughs> John BX in the building. What's up, John? He said, good morning, Jay, in the hangout. You and Jess do should collaborate and do some cross-generational content to try to bridge the gap a little. <laughs> you trying to call me old, man? <laughs> Your mother bridge the gap. <laughs> we do that, uh, John BX. We do do that. We all hook up together and be on the panels together and everything. We just got to do it more often so you'll see it. That's a pleasure, without a doubt. Yes, indeed. Just my little big homie. <laughs> Tampa Thomas, I wish I would throw my money at a strip club, huh, man? Uh, he said the generational content. That's funny. <laughs> Oh, you and Brona was in <laughs> right across from me, Sal. Yes, indeedy. Yes, indeedy. Yeah, hey, John, we all on the same team. JBT, just boxing talk. We all on the same team. For sure. Yeah, I rock out with all the young fellas. Without a doubt. He said him and Brona was in the jail together. Wow. I bet you that was funny. I bet you that was funny. <laughs> Appreciate that, John BX. Appreciate that. What else y'all got going on? Okay, listen, it's eight fifty-two. Y'all got us all talking. Let let let's let's go see what's happening in the world of boxing today. I don't even know why my uh my alarm didn't go off. Let's see what's happening in the world of boxing today. Okay, check this out. Canelo calls Benavidez fight with rehydration clause a lose-lose situation. Looking for Baval or Baturbiev winner instead. Oh, really? I, hey, we got to get into that one, y'all. Hold on. Negotiations for a potential fight between Canelo Alvarez and David Benavidez have become a weighty issue. Alvarez is the undisputed king of the super middleweight division, and he will defend his crown once more against Jaime Munguia in all Mexican single de Mayo weekend showdown in Las Vegas on May 4th. Munguia is certainly appealing opponent who will help make the fight a blockbuster success. But he supersedes Benavidez, Alvarez, mandatory WBC challenger, who's been patiently waiting in the wings for several for his well-deserved opportunity. Offers at $55 million have been made to entertain Alvarez with Benavidez bout beginning in 2022. And Benavidez has recently claimed to accept $5 million in return for the occasion. Wow. But the deal maker had not been able to whet the appetite of Alvarez. <laughs> Alvarez. In recent weeks, Alvarez, the fifth highest paid athlete in the world, according to Forbes, has been purely big business minded, indicating that it would take between a buck fifty to two hundred million to entertain the idea of fighting Benavidez 
and that his rival brings nothing to the table outside of 25 extra pounds on fight night. The tale of the tape for a tilt between Alvarez and Benavidez favors Benavidez, who is six years younger, six inches taller, and possesses a four inches of longer reach and is naturally the bigger and faster fighter who appears more explosive. Alvarez does not see any benefit in bullying Benavidez with weight stipulation. He said, yeah, a rehydration clause is a lose-lose situation because you know after the fight, they are going to say it was because of this. Alvarez told Boxing Scene in an interview on Thursday from his training camp home near Lake Tahoe, California. And then what? And then what? Then you're going to talk about that clause when I beat him. They are going to say it was because of the clause. Nothing to do with the fight. Much like Ryan Garcia pointed to his 136-pound catch weight and 10-pound rehydration clause as the main reason for getting knocked out by Gervonta Davis. Alvarez believes a similar narrative will be structured should he outlast Benavidez. But there you hear it. You know what? He said, There's all there is always a possibility of having a rematch with Dimitri Baval. Why not? That fight, I would love to have that fight, said Alvarez. I'm just focused on this fight right now with Mungia. I'm I'm fight by fight. But you know, if there is something interesting for me at 175, why not? The boxing public has been calling for Alvarez to fight Benavidez. What do y'all think about that, y'all? What do y'all think about what he just said? Do y'all feel, though, that uh, his big excuses? Yeah, because you know what? He don't have no problem going to 175, which guy's going to be 25 pounds more than him the night of the fight, for one. For two, he has a built-in excuse at 175. I'm daring to be great. So if he lose, he can say, well, you know what? I went up to 175. I'm a 168 fighter. But, you know, I was willing to take the risk. So it's a built-in excuse. At least that's how I feel about it. You know what I mean? I could be completely wrong. What do y'all think about that? You did. Because you're going to get those extra 25 pounds up at 75. You better believe it. You think them guys at 75, night of the fight, is when definitely weighing one 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 eighty five one ninety yeah 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 maybe even two hundred cosmic lando what up my guy jay dixon what's up my guy zacchaeus what's up my guy for show for show you know i forgot to bring instagram in yeah, I forgot to bring Instagram in. I know Instagram like, oh, he be just carrying us. You want a rematch with Baval at 75. How about taking Benavidez's fight at 175 so there's no excuses? Well, I tell you what. That fight at 175, that would be undisputed for them, right? Aunt McQueen way late. Aunt McQueen talking about script clubs. <laughs> That's so 15 minutes ago, Aunt McQueen. My homie just met Scarface in Abdullah Mason. He's a chef. Okay. That's what's up. 
Yeah, that Canelo conversation, man. It just, it just, yeah, it just gets my goat, man. I ain't gonna. Yeah, I just don't like it, man. You know, you're talking about a rehydration clause. Wait a minute, this man makes the weight at 168, and if he's 24, he's the one draining himself. You should have the advantage. That's just some fragonacle bull crap is all I got to say about it, man. Canelo hurts my heart with this conversation. He just do not want to. Okay. Okay. We'll fight David Benavidez at 175 then. How about that? How about that? Go to 175 and fight him at 175 then. What's the difference? (sighs) <sighs> Yo, I'm going to tell you, man, this bothers me, man. Y'all just don't know. Lewis Hinton, what's up with that, man? Somebody explain this to me. Somebody bring understanding to me for that, man. Wow, we got stuck on the first thing of what's happening in the world of boxing, man. Let's go back. Let's go back, man. That was the first news. All right, second one. Riot Mary says Jared Anderson KO power hasn't been proven against a real fighter. Okay, Riot talking his stuff. He said uh, Anderson KO power ain't 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 been proven yet. Well, he want to be the he want to be his Huckleberry. I guess he considers himself a real fighter, and 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 he want to he want to bring his chin to the arena. Okay. All right. Well, and hopeful fear factor and Shushu Carrington lesson will help show improvements. Charlie Edwards found it horrible watching Brother Sonny lose. Abdullah Mason aims to put on his show in Corpus Christi. Featherweight contender Arnold Kiga signs with top rank. F.A. Ajagba, good run, could continue against Guido Vanello. Jordan Gill and Zelfa Barrett, final press conference. Jared Anderson is looking beyond Red Mary to fighting in Saudi Arabia. See, see, man, see stuff like that. That boy is cruising for a bruising, man. I'm trying to tell you. Big baby is cruising for a bruising, man. He's doing all and doing and saying all the wrong things, man. Talking about Saudi Arabia. Man, you better deal with this brother here. Okay. All right. Okay. Kevin Cunningham says Brona is going to beat the corn off a of cob. <laughs> ah, that's a good one. He said Brona is going to beat the corn off a of cob. I'm gonna tell you though, if Brona get beat by Sideshow Bob Jack. That's going to be a fun. Oh, they're going to mean the hell out of that. They're going to mean the hell out of that if Brona loses against Sideshow Bob. <laughs> Tyson Fury said there's no bad blood with Anthony Joshua, but focus is on Usus. And it very much better to be. Devin Haney's path from Tijuana Origins to headlining in New York. Speaking of headlining in New York, have you all caught uh, Remo's uh, uh, video he put out yesterday? Yeah, 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 yeah. He put a video out yesterday, man. As a roving reporter, he was outside the uh, Barclay. And he said, you would not know that Haney and Ryan Garcia 
is fighting next week. There's no indication in New York City that they are fighting. Not even at the bar clay. I think he said it was like one of those uh one of those event signs where you know it just shows you everything that's happening at the bar clay this month. So it it it, it, it go it, it 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 shows a glimpse, but nothing steady. No billboards or anything like that. No billboards at all in New York City for Ryan versus uh Devin Haney. Maybe they really thought that the reason why they got $30 million is because of Ryan. Maybe that's what they really believe. But I think they're starting to find out. <laughs> the boxing menu podcast said, Jay, I just said it's Ohio in the building. I know. <laughs> I, 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 what are you saying, boxing menu podcast? I, I know Ohio is in the building. So, 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 should I not talk about Big Baby? (laughs) Talk to me. Tell me what you're saying. I'm trying to get some understanding. Because nobody's exempt. Nobody's exempt. Lewis Hinton said, I'm not sure about Big Baby's mental state. Didn't they say he got a service dog or something? He said, we in the building, G. Okay. Yes, Ohio is in the building. I agree with you. But I don't understand what you're saying. I'm glad you are in the building. I'm glad Ohio is in the building. Maybe you all can bring more understanding on this fight. Other than that, I'm starting to get confused. Because I'm not sure what you're saying. (laughs) Jay Dixon say, Aunt McQueen, my apologies, good sir. Let me fall back. F Canelo. He should do whatever Benavidez wants. And snort with him a little bit. <laughs> oh, y'all funny tonight. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm confused. One thing I do know about Ohio Ohio loves boxing. Yes, indeed. I love that channel too, Ohio Love Boxing. Matter of fact, I was talking to him the other day. My, I got to give him a, I got to hit him up. I, yeah, 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 yeah. I got to hit him up. We supposed to be getting together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We supposed to be getting together. If I'm, it might be the night. Might be the night he supposed to be coming in here. I got to check. I got to check my schedule, man. uh what else yeah man uh yeah man uh i i i, I want to see what uh i just don't think i think he need to stay on top of everything next pro fight brother we in the building okay all right uh what else what else what else what else what else what else next pro fight we in the building okay. all righty you know, I, y'all know i ain't the sharpest knife in the drawer because you know a lot of times i don't i don't be having understanding maybe brain ain't working as fast this morning i know what Maybe I need some more coffee. I know that much. Yeah. What it do, what it is, what 
the shell busy. Shell busy. Need some more coffee, man. There we go. Oh. Yeah, but yeah, I say tomorrow, next pro fight tomorrow. Yeah, uh, he you you going to be there tomorrow? You you going to be at the fight? Is that what you're saying, boxing menu podcast? That's what's up. You got feet on the ground, then that's good. Yeah, man, I think it's gonna be a good fight, man. Because I'm gonna tell you one thing about when guys come from out of out of the country to fight us, they come to fight, man. Yeah, they come to fight. They come to fight, man. Without a doubt, they come to fight. Without a doubt, let me check something out. Bear with me one second, y'all. Bear with me. Okay. All right. Yeah, and I'm going to tell you who I'm interested in seeing. Abdullah Mason. That's who I, I, yeah, I like that kid, man. I like Abdullah Mason. Yeah, for sure, man. Uh, He's special. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's special. I mean, he still got some uh, stuff he need to work on, but he's special, man. I think uh, he gonna, he's definitely going to be all right. I get that Thomas Hearns effect from him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get that Thomas Hearns effect from him. Could Eddie Hearn possibly sign Boots, Crawford, and Shakur? It's possible, it's possible, but I don't think, I don't think Eddie Hearn want Crawford. I ain't heard him utter Crawford. I can see him taking Shakur, but I don't know if he want Crawford. I don't know. I don't think he can afford him. Because Jimmy Boots ain't going to fight. I'm interested to see, you know, because, I mean, it was a good move for Boots because you can't get the fights anyway. So you might as well can't get the fights, but yet get paid. And you're building a good UK following. It's always good to have them in your pocket because they are supporters. Mm-hmm. They are supporters. So that way you get a well-rounded following. You'll have United States followings. And also you got the UK following. It's a win-win. It's probably a three-year deal. Yeah, two to three-year deal. What do y'all think? Or do you think it's a a three-fight deal? Because they did say multi-fight deal. So it might be a three fight deal. Nobody signed them long term deals no more. Jay Hardcore, do you know any boxers that are related to you? My granddad was a boxer, he was a heavyweight fighter. Yeah, my granddaddy was a heavyweight. Nor Coates. Mm-hmm. Yep. Matter of fact, let me see if I can uh show you a picture of my granddaddy. That's my granddaddy right there. Yeah, he was a heavyweight fighter named North Coach. It's the only boxer I knew in my family. Yeah, 
that was my um, my mother's daddy. Lincoln Levels. What up, Lincoln Levels? Good to see you. Good to see Lincoln Levels. Get I'm damn, I ran out of water. Bear with me one second, y'all. All righty. Dr. Lovely said, that's cool. Boxing is in your blood. Yes, indeedy. Yes, indeedy. My mom really got me into boxing. My mom loved boxing. Lincoln said he's all over the place. He's busy. <laughs> Old school said my father taught me boxing in the Navy before World War II broke out. And he also uh, taught hand-to-hand -hand judo. Okay. That's what's up. That's you don't hear too much anymore, judo. <laughs> for show, sure, for show. Sure. But, yeah, man, uh... I, I, I'm looking forward to this fight this weekend. I think that's going to be pretty good. And it's on ESPN. It's a free one, y'all. Free fights this weekend. Can't beat that. Free fights this weekend. And we got two heavyweights. We got Abdullah Mason as well. Yo, that's what's up. He said, oh, gee, you got it. Just thumbs up memo. Okay. Did you just send me something? Did you just send me something somewhere? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Yay. She said, yay. Um, Cass, what's up, Cass Sports? Good morning, big homie. Good to see you. Good to see you. Let me uh, go back in the... Uh... Tim Layton says, uh, that's crazy. Same with my granddad. My mom's dad also boxed heavyweight in the military. Hey, Tim Layton, this is getting kind of spooky now. My grandfather fought heavyweight in the military. Yo, me and this guy has so many of the sayings. It's crazy. Yeah, my granddaddy fought heavyweight in the military. That's too spooky, man. They called him Ace. <laughs> I'm not sure what they call my granddad, man. I'm just finding out maybe three or four years ago that he that he fought in the military i i didn't even know yeah 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 uh one of his daughters because my my granddaddy was a rolling stone yeah wherever he laid his hat was his home they say he got children all the way down to japan you did 
So yeah, 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 yeah. He, he, he. Yeah, my granddaddy was something else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not exaggerating at all, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My granddaddy named Noah. And my uncle name is Noah. And uh they said my granddaddy had a whole nother family up the street from where my grandmama and them lived, and he named another son named Noah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So what was so crazy? I can remember one day I'm sitting in the car. Uh because my school used to be up the street from my mother's job. So I used to, after school, go to my mother's job and just wait in the car until she came, you know, she came outside. She didn't need a call. You could do that back then. No, nah, you know what? Nah, she must have, no, nah, me and her must have been in the car together. So we're in the car together, and on the radio, it comes on the radio, Noah Coates has just robbed the such and such bank. I'm like, Noah Coates? I said, you hear that, mom? Uncle Noah robbed the bank. <laughs> so <clears throat> once we got home, we called them because, you know, we didn't have cell phones back then. Cell phones wasn't even a thing. It was pay, pay phone booth. So we waited till we got home. We called him like, and he like, yeah, I've been hearing that. But he said, it's not me. I ain't robbed no bank. To find out it was one of my granddaddy other children from another family that we knew nothing about had robbed the bank. Find a way to find out about another family, right? <laughs> yeah, that's crazy, right? That's crazy. Right, right, dark and lovely. Uh, Cash Sports say, yesterday I had 29 likes on the show. I wake up this morning, and there's only 11. Yeah, that's kind of weird, but that's probably some malfunction somehow. And, and, and probably later on, your 29 probably will be back, I think. Yeah, man, YouTube do so some of the crazy. I, I can't figure out YouTube, man. I have no clue man, of YouTube. Like, like, like how sometimes the channel will be going like crazy. Like right now, and I told y'all, we are on warp speed on su subscribers, man. We are on warp speed on subscribers, man. I'm a... Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, the numbers that we're it's scaring me at this point. I kid you not. I'm like, God damn. You did? I, you know, but and I bet you out of the blue is just going to stop. And then nothing for a while. And then take off again. So, yeah, you, I, I don't think, I think anybody that can figure out YouTube got the master plan, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like my big homie Banky, he was stuck on like 85,000 subscribers for God knows when. Where his channel is finally moving. I, I, I gave him a I gave him a code. I said, hey man, you, you might need to start doing uh 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 uh, uh shorts because shorts bring subscribers. It is what it is, man. You know, because, you know, he, he wants that plaque. So I told him you need to start doing shorts. Well, Banky has turned into the shorts king now. This brother putting out shorts a mile a minute now, and his channel's moving. He done went from 85 to 91.2 now. So he's moving again. And your podcast say, it ain't going to stop. No diddy, Jay. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's crazy, man. But yeah, man, we done, we damn near double. We damn near double in uh, one month, which is almost crazy to me. But uh, look, I, I, the old saying say you don't look a gift horse in the mouth, man. I guess that's how you could use this one. For sure. 
all I know is just keep yeah, keep my head down and keep on moving forward and having fun with you all in the uh, hangout, man. And, and rocking out with my JBT brothers, man, and sisters. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm in my own little bubble, man. This is my little bubble here, rocking out with, with my family here on the JBT. Yes, indeedy. And it's not a moment, it's a movement. You dig? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're growing with leaps and bounds, man. You dig, for sure. And like I always say, man, I can't wait to see what three years look like. Can you imagine the JBT in three years? Crazy, right? And and, and, and just to let you all know, y'all the cornerstone, man. Y'all, y'all the cornerstone, the foundation, the brick, what it all is going to be built on. You did? Yeah, yeah, the foundation, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When one day when the JBT is like one million strong, one million strong. Yeah, that's what I see in the future. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Can Sport just put the JBT network in the uh, chat. If you have not signed up with the JBT network, make sure you do that. Be part of the movement, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's strength in numbers, y'all. Be part of the movement. Uh-oh. <laughs> the Box of Minute podcast said, I got my Red Bull for you, G. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Yo, if the Red Bull make me act like you was acting the other day, <laughs> give me two. <laughs> Right, Cass. Cass say you're as only as good as your supporters. That is so, so true. So true. Yeah, because we ain't got no fans. We got supporters, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got supporters. That's the difference from us and other people. They got fans. We got supporters. It's a big difference. Yeah, yeah, it's a big difference. Scale Scrupper Toy, what up? Much love, hardcore in the family. I've been working overtime. Okay. Get that money, man. Loan me a dollar. <laughs> Loan me a dollar. He said, only one a day, Jay. <laughs> Gail Scrupatory, hashtag FBA, hashtag SOC. The good sis. What's up, good sis? You say good morning, Jay and chat. I see you asked uh, last night who's running the uh, the JBT on Instagram. That would be me, Aunt McQueen, and uh, Justin James supposed to be coming on as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. I needed help. Say, put your cash app back up. Okay. You ain't got to tell me twice. I be forgetting, man. There it is. Bama Shama Lama. Bama Shama Lama. It's up there. Lord knows. Lord knows. Yes, indeed. First of the month, got to pay all these bills. Skype and this and that and this and that and StreamYard and all that stuff. Appreciate everything. Trust and believe. Miss Joette, you want help on the uh, Instagram team? We need help. Yeah, we need some ladies' touches. We need some lady touches. We need a ladies' touch. What happened to the comments? They done disappeared. Yes, indeed. But what else y'all got going on, man? I hope everybody is finding Fab Tablets thus far, man. We got free fights this weekend. Free fight Saturday. Free fight Saturday. Yes, indeed. Then we got the after fight recap. We got the after after fight recap. I'm not sure who's hosting it this week. 
but uh, I think Senior has hosted one. Jess done ho hosted one. So I guess it would be me or, 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 or Casual Corners or Remo. Who else? Who else? Who else? Me, Casual Corners, Remo. The Jess already did it. Senior already did it. Yeah. Well, Cash Sports. He said we still need a secretary too for the JBT. We do. The secretary doesn't mean just a woman, though. Let's not be sexist. <laughs> But we do need a secretary. We need a secretary and we need a treasurer. <laughs> Taz supposed to say, not me. <laughs> I was just wondering about IGJ. I wish I could, but I really don't have time for my own ish. Plus, I really don't even know that much about IG, to tell you the truth. So sorry. So you just being nosy, that's all. You just want to be nosy, rosy. I think you had said you had, you had did something and I sent you hearts. So you was wondering who was sending you hearts. Is that what it was? That was me. That was me sending you hearts because you had responded to something. He said, I'm not looking at no man secretary. <laughs> Seeing you such a sexist. <laughs> I feel you though. That's just like when I was in the hospital and I had a man nurse, man. I was not. I was not jacking that at all, man. Yeah, I was not jacking that at all. <laughs> this is not sexist, but honest. <laughs> Um, just messing with you, Miss Joette. Don't take it personal. I'm just playing with you. you know I'm a playster. Just playing with you. You said, nah, that's wild. I got to step in for Remo on this one. Mm-mm. <laughs> What else? Do we, do we cover everything? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeedy. What else y'all got going on today? What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Let me check something. <laughs> he said, y'all crazy like us Ohio dudes. Free smoke line. So, let me see. Is there anything? Let's do the uh, what you call them. Hold on, bear with me, Z. Bear with me, Z. Uh, let me see.
All righty, back at there. He said Jay got the free smoke lineup. <laughs> Hold on one second. I'm seeing it is is doing this little circle thing, waiting for it to finish doing this little circle thing. Mm -mm. It's doing this little circle thingy. All right, there it goes. It's finished doing this circle thingy. I'll go back there and let's uh, share, stop sharing and present. Nope. Hit that. Share screen. Nope. Do it again. Try it again. Share screen. Nope. God damn it. There we go. That should be it. All right. Hit Skype. Hit share. Go back here. Hit here. Solo layout. Bam. Okay. Let's get the uh, telephone number. Bam. Shamalam. There it is. 443-687-9806. Call in. Free smoke line free smoke line let me get my ears on put my coffee on the warmer all right you asked for it there it is Four four three six eight seven nine eight zero six. Join Cash Sports today for a look at the life and career of Thomas Hitman Hearns at 2 p.m. That's going to be a good one. That's going to be a good one. Yeah, I love me some Hitman Hearns, man. He was no joke. Free smoke line is there, y'all. Talk to me quick before I forget. It's your boy Hardcore. Who? Hey, Hardcore. Hardcore. What's happening? What's happening? Everything scrupulatory, man. It's scale scrupulatory, man. I'm trying to get that cash app trade together, but I can't find your name, good brother. I put it on the screen. I know. I'm looking at the joint, but it it just keeps searching with the magnifying glass and shit. Really. Yeah, because the, du yeah, the, du yeah, the, du yeah. the dog should come up. Yeah, okay, it's the dog of that drink. But I'm going to keep on trying, though. That's why I had to call to let you know that part. But I'm going to keep on trying. It's all good. Everything scrupulatory. Much love. Much love to the J-Hardcore family, <laughs> JVT. Yeah, everything is scrupulatory. I'll holler at y'all. Hey, this is your first time calling, ain't it? Yeah, man. Yeah. Hey, man, I appreciate that, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We we on business. You <laughs> <laughs> been doing a lot of overtime lately. Yeah, man. Yeah. Hold up. Watch watch this here. Let me let me see. Let it let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Hold up. Yeah, that's the Sweet. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Sweet. All right. They spoke to y'all. I'm gonna highlight in a little bit. Big old dog. All right. All right then. Yeah. If if, right. if you can uh, find it, uh, let me know. Okay. All righty, y'all. Uh, four four three six eight seven nine eight zero six. Scale scrubber toy just hit up. First time calling, man. First timer. The brother called to let me know he wants to send some money, man. See, that's what's up right there. That's what I told you. That's why I say it's the difference, man. Supporters and fans, two different things, man. Mike Mazik, what's up, my guy? I see you up in here. Hey. 
talk to me quick before I forget. Hold on. Talk to me quick. Hold on. It's two people calling at the same time. Talk to me quick before I forget. It's your boy, Hardcore. Who is this? This is Cash Sports, the box historian hey. from Baltimore, home of the face of box. What's up, my guy? I had to get my call in before Remo called. <laughs> I think y'all both was calling at the same okay. time. <laughs> Yeah, I'm glad I beat Remo because I'm going to have to wait till like two hours to get in. <laughs> <laughs> so what's going on? Ain't that weird, man? Now they, uh, they shut me out two ways. They did kept cutting off yesterday. Now, I had 28 likes to wake up this morning. I got 11. That's man, crazy. That's crazy. Yeah it's, <laughs> yeah, it's a conspiracy against the JBT, man. Yeah, something is going on. <laughs> so what's happening? I ain't a whole What's the lot, subject man. for today? Well, we got the fight tomorrow. Yeah, the, we got Big Baby fight yeah. tomorrow. And we got Abdullah Mason. We got F.A. Ajaba. Yeah. I thought Big Baby would have stepped up to a you know higher level opponent by now, you know? Well, I guess uh, they considered it a higher guy. level because, I mean, but we don't know who this really? guy is. Yeah, I don't. I, you know, I thought he would. Him and Ajabo on the card. Why didn't they fight each other? That would have been bad. I, mean, I would have liked that. Yeah. But we got Abdullah. So that's always good. Yeah. I don't you don't play with his food no, at don't. all. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. It's actually four cards tomorrow. Actually four cards. Oh, yeah? Yeah, we got one on the zone, too, from um the U.K., Mm-hmm. And then this one from um, Argentina. I don't know what kind of TV that's on. This is another one from Japan. Oh, wow. Yep. Oh, we busy tomorrow. But we got ESPN and the zone for sure. Is the zone, is that going to be like, because I know sometimes they earlier in the day, you know, from the UK. So that yeah. would be nice. Yeah, they normally like five five o'clock. Yeah. And then ESPN later on. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of fights on that. Uh, the zone call, I think it's like eleven fights or something. They always load yeah. up. They always load it up though. Yeah, and they show every one of them too. <laughs> All the prospects, everybody. Mm-hmm. They get kind of boring sometimes, the zone cards do. I guess they do it because they charge it, man, you know. Right. Yeah. But what are they? Twenty nine a um, month or what? Say it again, Jay. How much is the zone every month? Twenty nine? Yeah, about yeah, I think it is twenty it's twenty something. I'm not sure. Mm. It might be twenty nine. Yeah. Mm. I was paying by the year one time and then it ran out. So mm. I just went to the month. I just subscribed like two months ago. I went to the month. Mm-hmm. There's a big lump sum come out at one time like that, you know. Yeah. Ain't rich. Oh man. Um you know when we were talking about that survey we was doing, what happened what was it supposed to save that until tomorrow's meeting or something? Oh, so we're going to face the, who we go with the face of boxing. Yeah, matter of fact, I got to do my homework for that. I'm going to have to get mine done today. Because I did it at work. Mine ain't too good because, you know, I work in Baltimore. <laughs> I asked like 10 people, eight of them said tight. So really, that's <laughs> mine good. is not a good gauge. Yeah, well, mine yeah. be the same way. But I'm out where I live at out here. Uh, I don't know. You know, I'm gonna, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna make sure I ask a different, uh, different types of races too. Yeah, so mine will be too useful. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah. Were you asking any inmates? <laughs> no, I don't even really get in there that much no more. But no, I didn't ask any. That's a good. Idea. I might do that. That's yeah. a good idea. Ask some inmates. You'd probably say tank too. Probably. Yeah, but I'm gonna do that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because I ask like ten. We both the X five. I asked like ten. I asked five, five inmates. Mm-hmm. See what they say. How about that? How about like no tank? Remember he was in there mm-hmm. not too long ago. Yeah, or well, ask them um, if they if they ever heard of Devin Haney, Shakur Stevenson. Yeah, you know? put some other names out there. Yeah, mm-hmm. that would be good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. So yeah, yeah. I'll make sure I do mine today. I forgot all about that. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. yeah I was just checking it though. Appreciate it. Okay, and you gonna do that? You gonna do Thomas Hearns today? I'm looking forward to that one. You know, that's my guy. Yeah, the hit man. That's my guy. Yeah, I love him. You know, he yeah. he started out as a light hitting boxer. 
you know, he wasn't even a hard puncher when he first started. Stewart turned him into a hard puncher. Yeah. I can't imagine her being a light hitting. I don't understand that. Well, maybe he had it, but he didn't know how to punch. Because you can't. Well, it got to be you got it or you don't. So he probably had it. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, he probably always could punch, but just didn't know how to punch correctly. Naeem, the yeah, Emmanuel gave him appreciate that, Naeem mm-hmm. Green. Yeah, Emmanuel yeah. gave him the technique and everything, you know. Yeah, taught him how to punch. As Aunt McQueen would say. <laughs> mm-hmm. Use them big words like Aunt. Yeah, you know, Aunt, <laughs> you know, Aunt real smart, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Lucky, yeah. Lucky. Remember, did you hear that story I told the other day? I was struggling to put my link in the chat one time and Ant put it in. Mm-hmm. I was trying to get it in. I looked up. He was The link was in there. He was backstage. I'm like, how the word you did that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he dropped it in there, man. I was like, wow. Yeah, man, they technology. So we got, I remember one day, man, my cousin. got that covered. One day, mm-hmm. I remember one day my cousin, man, he took over my computer from his house. I was like, Lord have mercy. It's just technology. It's just great. <laughs> I'm serious, man. We got that covered with Ed Remo and Joy Fink. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, those guys, they're yeah. techno- technological shorties, man. They know what they're doing when they come mm-hmm. to that computer, man. I told Remo yesterday. Oh, yeah. Um, go ahead, Jay. I told Remo yesterday, man, if I had his, if I if I could do half the things he can do with a computer, I would get no sleep. Yeah, I know. I'd I'm making, serious. I'd be making content 24-7 if I could do the stuff he he can do, man. hmm But, you know, the guy, I forgot. I got his name written down. He's supposed to come to the meeting tomorrow. He want to join. Um, can you came over. Remember last Saturday he was on his channel? Mm-hmm. I got his name written down at the house. He wanna, He's going to be at the meeting tomorrow. Uh, yeah, well, you know. Oh, so, yeah. Well, I'll talk to you after when I get off of here. We're, we're wrapped. Okay. Yeah, cool. We're definitely okay, I'm gonna let somebody else jump in then, Jay. All right, then. Bet. I'll talk to you later. Uh huh. And appreciate all the JBT supporters out there. Appreciate you one thousand percent. Uh, one thousand men for sure, without a doubt, man. Yes, indeed. Okay. Talk to you later, Jay. Right, peace out. All right. Four four three six eight seven nine eight zero six, man. Talk to me quick before I forget. Talk to me quick before I forget. Yes, indeed, man. Yeah, yeah. Someone was trying to call in. I thought I think it might have been Remo. I'm not sure. I didn't see the number. Remo called from so many different numbers, man. I can't keep up with him, man. The old incognito type of cat, man. Yeah, you. you Talk to me quick before I forget. It's your boy Hardcore. Yo, what's good, man? Uh oh. <laughs> what's up with you? Ain't much. What's going on, man? Chilling. And just keep For it. For those up. that don't know, just it's the king. The fashion king. king. Casual king. Oh. Okay. King of fashion. That's you. That's you. Okay. What's up with you? Ain't nothing, man. You know, I ain't called about this toy. You know, I ain't called about talking about no damn dinosaurs. You know that for sure. <laughs> Leave that. Leave that. <laughs> Somebody calling from D.C. Okay. All right. So what it is. What it is. What, uh, what you calling well, to talk well, about? Well, well, what I did have on my mind is that uh, Bob Aram kind of gave you an insight of what he really feel about Shakur, man. Okay, talk to him. I just didn't like how he basically just throwing the man to the side, like you know, like, like kind of like he did Bud. Mm-hmm. That whole, that whole. All right, you know, this is his last fight. You know, usually when it's his last fight it's, or last deal with somebody, they don't really go to the public and and, and, and publicly say that because they're trying to negotiate with you on the back burner, you know, mm-hmm. or they trying to avoid another, you know, a uh, promoter or, or an agent or somebody like that getting your attention and knowing that you, they have vast interest in you, you know? Mm. But the way he put it out there is like, you know, we did good business together, but this is his last fight on with us. So I don't know. He's saying like, you know, 
they came to an understanding that he wasn't returning or he just had zero interest in, in bringing him back. Mm. And to be honest with you, if I'm Shakur, I'd probably be, be elated at that. Mm. Like, thank you. Because, like, you, you got you, – the most he can really offer him is a, is, a, is a form of payment that's going to keep him happy throughout life. Not generational, probably like like not life changing mm-hmm. to them. To us, to us, yeah, it's life changing. But to them, where he, where his uh, peers are going to be elevating, he doesn't seem to have that interest in him. And what he could be by a different platform, mm-hmm. he could be that guy. Because mm-hmm. look at it, they giving they keep Hitchens busy. Not saying he's getting the creme of the creme, but He's staying busy. He's keeping against active fighters, but Shakur is a, a, a more talent, is a bigger talent than him. Mm. Mm. Hitchens been on the shelf about mm. my Mayweather for about about four or five years. So the, all the all the experience that his peers have, he's been around for that time, but he's been unable to get in the ring. So having somebody who's investing their time and effort. And making Shakur the guy, the main guy, the franchise player or whatever, might be a good look for him. And I don't see them doing that with, with him at ESPN. Mm. Yeah, you're right. Uh, Bob, normally, you know, you would think that he would be trying to renegotiate, but he kind of put it out there like, you know, it's over with. He talking about, uh, I, ain't, uh, I don't know if he's going to re-up with me or not. You know, by now you would know. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, normally on their last fight, it comes with a new contract. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Three or, up. Mm-hmm. Or, or, entice, or at least a uh, form of enticement. But mm-hmm. look at it like this. I, I, I got to run. I don't want to take up the line too long. But look at it like this. Yeah, they already putting bad and, bones out on you. We in old school say, y'all get y'all pillows and blankets ready. Remo going to be a while. <laughs> Nah, it ain't going to be a minute. But um, <laughs> look at it like this. A guy like Tio is kind of in the same position that Shakur sh- should be in. Mm-hmm. And they're, they're all from that same crop of year talent. You know, Tank might be a little bit, you know, advanced in age with them. But mm-hmm. they all grew up around the same time with the same things. But Tio has been able to talk crazy, get in big fights, and and – you know, to his to his detriment, talk himself out of big situations. But he was given the opportunity. Mm-hmm. Shakur being Shakur being viewed as that guy, and without having the backing behind his his promoter, it doesn't vote well for his future over there. So I just think you know he should he should go where he's wanted and welcome, and uh, viewed as a franchise player. Well, you know that you know his big homie is Team uh, Bob all the way so this is going to be interesting so, you know, yeah jay, jay wanna... prince loves himself bob aram so no i don't think i don't think that's the case though i mm-hmm. think bob aram uses jay prince as the the bridge to the negroes <laughs> and uh and the, the way to keep the you know the conversation enlightening and calm between the two he's the and, negro uh, bridge you know, he's the negro bridge I'm not gonna say that because he got a lot of internet niggas out here. And I ain't want. I don't want no smoke. That's what I you just. That's smoke. what you just said, though. He the Negro I didn't bridge. I say it like that. I ain't say the bridge. What I'm saying is, you know, people of our kind they take likely the conversations rather than the other kind. You know, mm-hmm. so Jay Prince might be able to to dumb down the language that Bob wouldn't take. Or, or really hear from a Shakur. So, you know, or, or whoever he, he uses them over there for. Mm. And he greases the wheel over there. He greases the wheel for him as well. So, you know what I mean? If he could separate, he might have to give him a bag to leave as Lego well. Lego bridge. But, <laughs> yo, whatever, man. Yo, it's a, that's just my mm. thoughts on it. And I just think Jay Prince like the Moses of boxing? Is that just- I, you know, I don't know, whatever y'all want to call Let it, my but, people but, go. <laughs> when you got when you got a guy, when you, right, but think about it like this. You got a black man in a white man pocket. Don't okay. go too far. Okay. Okay. Saying, you know, 
Yeah. But that's it. That's all. That's all I got. I just want to. I just want to. I just want everybody to think about that though. You know, Shakur is a talent that hasn't been marketed as a talent, and the talent that he has had that should be stars like Loma, mm-hmm. The Matrix, and all this other stuff. Mm-hmm. He never even had a pay per view. So what's the future for Shakur? That's it. I'm out of here. It'll be safe, man. Thank you for the acknowledgement you brought to us, brother. Appreciate you. The king of the casuals, y'all. The king of the casuals, man. Brought the Negro bridge to us, man, for sure. 443-687-9806, man. Yes, indeed. We're working on cancellation for sure, (laughs) y'all. I love it, man. That's one thing about the hangout. We definitely keep it real and ghetto around here, man, for sure. Without a doubt, she say, Lee, the king of fashion alone. <laughs> All right. Talk to me quick before I forget. It's your boy, Hardcore. Who is this? I need you to turn your guy. What's up? Turn your t- guy. What's man. up, man? Who's this boxing menu podcast? You already know me. Uh oh. <laughs> Red Bull. <laughs> Red Bull. I want a Red Bull right now. Huh? Oh, hey, right. Hey, shout out to the hangout. Right, it's Friday, right? Yeah, if that it is. It is Friday. Hey, turn your turn your television down some. Or your whatever. Yeah, that, yeah. Hey, that's what I thought I did, though, Jay. No, I can still hear it. That's why I was saying that. Yeah, I thought I, I thought I did, though, bro. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You got that big TVs over here and everything. Yeah, yeah. You watching that big eighty Ch- Ch- over there, huh? Yeah, chilling out in Ohio. It ain't no big eighty, though. But you know, you know we do. <laughs> 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 that old yeah, old thing shout out to, over there, man. Right, shout out to everybody, though, man. In the chat, you know what I'm saying, man. Yeah, I do. just just chilling out, man. I ain't doing nothing, man. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying. So, so you, yeah, you man. Same jail with uh, Brona. Yeah, yeah, we 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 was locked up together. Wow. How, yep. How, straight up, dog. What type of cat was it? It was uh we was we was like now uh in COVID. Mm, okay, okay. Yeah, around the COVID time, we was in uh red zone together. It was twenty four hours locked now. Okay, he pretty cool. You know what I'm saying you only you only can come out one hour. Right, right, right. Yeah, you matter of fact, man, that's when he hit me. Matter of fact, that's what that's what we we we've been friends on Instagram for real, for real. Oh, okay, okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. I you know what I'm I, saying? I like Brona, man. Yeah, no, I fuck, I fuck with him. I don't fuck with him like that, but you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? He know he had caught the case. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he had caught the case down here, so that's what it was, though. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? He was like down here with us, and people were saying, though, like, man, you got a chance, though. Like, mm-hmm. you, you, you. You you messing with Floyd? You messing with this person, this person, and that person? And you got a chance, man. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. what people was trying to sell. People was trying to get at him, dog. Right, right. People right. thought I was lying, dog. Yeah. And then look, they like they like uh look at it. When I first got in there, look, mm-hmm. my homeboy like look, that's a brother right there. <laughs> look, look over, look. That's Broner right there. Look, mm. niggas, niggas thought I was lying. Look, mm-hmm. I told my, I told my people, look, that got Broner right there. Look, mm. that was him right there. That was him. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, he was there. He was doing his thing, dog. Right. You know what I'm saying? He hold his own. He went on you know, no bullshit and nothing like that, man. Trying to get out and get it, get at the, you know what I'm saying? The CEOs and shit. Right, you know what I'm saying? Uh, CEO girls and shit, man. I'm, I don't, I ain't about to sell all that like that, though. 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But he was doing yeah, his thing, do. though. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. He was just doing his thing, man. T- sitting up there, man. You know, mm-hmm. throwing his jobs in the air and shit. Right, right. You know? Yeah, for fun. Yeah, man. I, I, I can name the sale. I can name all that shit, but I ain't about to do it right now, though. But yeah. I can, though. Yeah, I believe you. I believe you. For sure. For sure. You know what I'm saying? I am, man. I don't be capping, man. I don't, I don't call the cap. But mm. I don't do all that. Nah, not all of that. Yeah. Ooh. yeah. Ooh. Not over none of that shit. I don't, man, I don't be capping over nothing. I know that's right. Yeah, man. What for? There ain't no reason to, right? Man, what for, man? I don't cap in real life, bro. <laughs> for real. Yes, shit. it do. About guy the box yeah. the menu podcast plus, man. Hey, you be doing your thing man. on Instagram, man. I be watching you. I be watching. Yeah, you. man. Hey, man, salute, man. Thanks a lot, man. You know what I'm saying? That's what it do, man. That's what it do, do, man. No ditty. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Back. Early in the morning, no ditty, man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, it did. Who you got you tomorrow, know? man? How you think Jared Heard? I mean, damn, Jared Heard. <laughs> Jared Anderson going to do tomorrow. Big Baby. Oh, Big Baby? Mm-hmm. I think Big Baby going to I, I think Big Baby going to win, man. Okay. Okay. You think he's going to stop him? You know what I'm saying? You think he's going to stop him? Yeah, man. We, you know, ain't nothing, ain't nothing but boxing talk, no. You, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 I sometimes, man, I, I get onto the other thing besides boxing, though, man. You know, they, they didn't destroy uh, a couple of my other pages, but it's all good, though. You know what I'm saying? I'll be back in a minute, man. I'm just taking my time, man. You know what I'm saying? I do now. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. You know, yes. but, uh, you know, but uh, yeah, I think uh, Big Baby gonna do his thing. That. Yeah, he a big cry baby. I heard, huh? Word on the street, right? Yeah, man. You know, mm. how, you know how it go, man. Yeah, man. You mm. know, so shit, man. It is what it is. You know. And what is other is. than that, though? Yeah. yeah he, he 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 calling out uh, what's the name? Yeah, Wilder, uh, Wilder. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, we're going to see, man. He need to deal with the guy he got tomorrow, man. He got to deal with the guy he got tomorrow and then move from there. You know what I mean? Yeah, so what do you think about Boots? I think Boots going to be okay, man. Uh, It's just like how it was for Spence and how it was for Thurman and all them guys that everybody was scared of at one time. Eventually, he going to get his just due. You know what I'm saying? He's just got to wait his turn. That's just how it is, man. You know, eventually, yeah. eventually, you they're going to have to fight you. They're going to have to fight you. They, they can't get around it, man, because after a while, their promoter will throw them to the Lions, man. So, yeah, they 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 they, they talking they talking a lot of stuff too, to man. They talking about Tank too, man. They talking about he he looked too straight. He, he looked too shredded, man. Man, we ain't tripping off. Like he 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 too one thirty five for too long. Yeah, yeah, we ain't we ain't tripping off of none of that, man. You know what I'm saying? We ain't worried about that. You know what I'm saying? They, yeah, it's, it's, they talking it's, about you know when it come match day, man. Like how you gonna you know what I'm saying? Okay. I ain't tripping. I ain't tripping on none of that, though. But listen, there, before you roll out, man, let everybody know where they can get you at on Instagram and everything. Oh, yeah. You already know Boss Me Podcast, man. And then you can uh follow me on the Boss Me Podcast Plus, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. On YouTube, you know what I'm saying? When I get my other pages back, you know, already know, Jack. Yeah. It's already on, you know what I'm saying? Like a lumberjack. Without For a shout out. Without a doubt. Well, listen here. It was always a pleasure, man. You take it easy, now, my brother. Man, hey, hey, look. Shout out to all y'all, though, man. This is one of them podcasts and everything. You know what I'm saying? You know, I mess with the JBT. You know, I mess with all y'all. For, and that's for sure, though. Man, we appreciate you, my you know brother. What I'm saying? Yeah. We Salute, Rise Podcast, too. Without a doubt. Hey, hey, hey. 
Just do. Keep cooking them. <laughs> That's right. Fry them and fry them, yo, for sure. For sure, dog. <laughs> all right, G. You take it easy, all right? All right, you too, bro. Peace out, my brother. Yes, it is. Sure. Boxing, man. You, yeah, man, sure. you, show, man. you take it easy, my guy. All right? There it is. Red Bull Shawty, if you will, man. Yes, indeed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Burning Desire. Last one, y'all. Burning Desire. Talk to me quick before I forget. It's your boy, Hardcore. Who is this? Man, listen. I don't care what nobody say, man. My guy, Boxing Menu Podcast Plus, got to be at the cookout, man. <laughs> no doubt. No, no, no doubt. Saying, know what I'm saying? He got to be at the cookout, man. I agree. I agree, man. Yes, got, man. <laughs> shout out to Boxing Menu Podcast, man. What's going on, Jay? How you feeling this morning, John? Both hands, baby boy. Both hands, man. I said I was going to give you a call this weekend so we can get some pigmentation going on uh, bigger than boxing. So, uh, all right, all right. I got. Uh, I'm, I'm waiting for. Uh, I got Hoy. I got Hoy working on something for me. Um, okay. And um, I should be able. To, I should be able. To, if, if if it turned out the way I needed to, mm-hmm. you know what I mean. I should be able to start dropping some shit. Uh, probably like Monday. Okay. Yeah. Dropping we, some clips like Monday. Yeah, we need some clips so we can drop them on all channels. You know, so we can. Uh, yeah, I already said. Then we can. Um, we can. Uh, we can. We can. We can set up uh time this weekend. Um. Uh, 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 put them together and you know what I mean. See what we think. Yeah. You know what I mean. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Uh, over the sure. Sound because like a winner. Sound I got like a winner. What else you got? Yeah, I got him, man. What else you got? Hey, Coach, Coach Calvin, Coach Calvin, and Coach Kenny was talking last night, right, about our Big Baby Jared Anderson, and they made a they made a real point. They was like, they don't think it's the boxing with him. Mm-hmm. It's, it's too much going on, and they not making it simple. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? He getting frustrated with his team not doing. You know what I mean? Doing what they supposed to do. Hmm. Like, you know, like, and, 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 and that makes sense because I remember, like, Coach Cal, and he was like, listen, if you don't do it like this, this is what's going to happen. Mm-hmm. And they didn't listen. Mm-hmm. They didn't listen. And, you know what I mean? They, they Coach, can you fix it? Can you fix it? No, nah, I told y'all, you got to make it easy as possible. Mm-hmm. You got to make it simple. You know what I mean? You want them to go all the way around town, do this? No. Wherever they at, you make it either bring it to them mm-hmm. or you make it right there to where so they ain't got to go out of their way. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, keep it simple. So they was, they was just, yeah, so he's talking on the show last night, man. They don't think it's a boxer. You know what I mean? He, he, that's what he is, a fighter. But it's just the team and the people that's, that that they got around him not, not really doing their job, and he getting frustrated. Mm. Mm. When you say not doing their job, what do they mean by not doing their job? They're not, what are you talking about? Not making it, not making it simple. It's too much going on. They're not making it simple. It's too complicated. They're making it simple. And he getting frustrated. Is not making boxing simple or the business of boxing simple? What, what, the business, the business, oh, the business. Okay, okay. So I, I'm trying you know what I mean? It's too much going on with the business. And you know what I mean? Like, he, he don't got no problem fighting, but the business, he, and that's why, because they said once he made that comment about I had more fun in the amateurs. Mm hmm. I mean, the business getting to him. It's not, it's not the fighting, it's the business. Ain't he a Jay Prince fighter? Um, I'm not quite sure. Don't quote me. I think he is. I think he is a Jay Prince fighter. I'm more than sure he's a he Jay is. Prince. I think Jay Prince is his manager, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's one of the conversations. I'm going to drop a clip on it. Um, I'm going to drop a clip on exactly what they were talking about, and I'll tag you in it. Okay, bet, bet. Yeah. Once I get, once I get, once I get um situated, man. For sure, for sure, for sure. But yeah, man. Uh, yeah, tank looking real good, man. Uh, seems like everything is moving smoothly. You dig? So I can't wait, man. I can't wait. Listen, man. People, people. I just don't understand. Coach Calvin, he's like, he mad, but he's not mad about this clip. It's like, if I would have, Jay, I'm trying to tell you right. Mm-hmm. We, when we was down in Florida at training camp, right, he, he had a conversation. Mm-hmm. The conversation was so organic, but it's like I didn't want to grab the camera and mess up the moment. Like the shit he was spitting mm-hmm. was like all fact, all like all facts. And you know what I mean? Like it would have been great for the people to hear, mm-hmm. but it just was like that was my first time really hearing him talk. Mm-hmm. 
So I mean, like I ain't want, I ain't want, I ain't want to mess it up, man. But y'all just don't understand what y'all look, y'all what y'all in for, man. Yo, I'm going sure, I'm going sure. I've I've been campaigning for a long time, telling people, man, we ain't seen nowhere near what Shorty got, what Shorty got. You know what I'm saying? We just, you know, he ain't, he ain't never had to show us a lot because he got that equalizer. You know what I'm saying? So we yeah, only, yeah. We, we just we just seen the easy stuff. You know what I'm saying? We ain't, we ain't seen what else is in that bag, and I'm I'm so looking forward to finding out what's else in that bag. You know I, I, I think I think I think I think we've seen glimpses of glimpses of what's yeah, in the bag. Glimpse, yeah, but I, I want to see somebody bring and, it out of them, though. You know what I mean? At separate time, but he, yeah, he's never had to pull all the tools out of the bag. You know what I mean? Like he he shows you different things in different fights, but he's never had to really show y'all look. You know what I mean? Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. And that's what Floyd used to always say. Floyd said, I haven't even pulled out everything out of my bag. And Floyd, even at the end of his career, said he never got a chance to get everything out of his out of his bag. Man. You know? But it's one of those things I wonder, you know, if you don't use it, you lose it, man. So I, I hope he'd be able to exercise it. You know what I'm saying? All right. That last, that last interview you said, he said, man, listen, this is this the stuff I learned back when I was an amateur. Mm. I'm just putting it all together now. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I do. I just, I just can't. I can't. I can't wait to see that fight where it's though. It's nothing. It's nothing you can debate. Nothing you can say. Yeah. But you know what I mean? Yeah. Shorty him. That's yeah. it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Where it just leave you like, damn. Did you see that last night? Yeah. Yeah. I can't wait for yeah. one of them moments. I can't wait for one of them moments when we were like, damn. Did you see that? <laughs> yeah, I can't wait for that to happen, man. That's that I can't wait for that day, Jack. You know what I'm saying? Man, shout out to shout, shout out to the CBC too, man, because they they applying a lot of pressure, man, with these fight cards they dropping, man. Who that is? He ready to give he ready, PBC, uh, PBC, Amazon Prime. Oh yeah. He yeah, ready yeah, give yeah. us Tank Tank and Benavidez on the same card. And some more. And some more. And uh, some more. Hey, and yeah, I heard man. I heard Jaleel gonna be on that thing too, boy. Yes, indeed. Man, listen, man, listen, man, I listen, man. It. It's, I a, now, I could it's be a wrong. treat, man. I could I could be wrong, but that's what I'm hearing. It's a treat, man. Like, you know what I mean? Matter of fact, I gotta get Jaleel back on the show. Yeah, I like that kid, man. It's, I like that kid. Man, listen, man, listen. They don't understand like that, man. Listen, man. Mm-hmm. Another problem. You know what I mean? A big problem. Any, any, any young, big kid, young, strong, mm-hmm. got the got the got the knowledge of the sport and got a hell of a dad in his corner, man. Shout out to Mr. Bernard, man. Yeah, yeah, he, Mr. Yeah. Bernard knows his shit and not just boxing; he understands the business. Yes, he does, man. Man, me and Bernard to get on the phone, man. We'd be on the phone for an hour, man. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yo, like every, I be just every listening. time he talk, I'm. Just, Every time he talk, I'd be like the little kid, you know right, what I mean, sitting right. up by his uncle, just listening, right? Just soaking up the game, listening, exactly, exactly. Man, you need to know when to shut up, Jack. For sure, man. Listen, and when he talk, that's what I do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Without you're, gonna, you're gonna learn. You're gonna learn something. I got, I got two for you today: 1908 and 11:30. All right. 1908 and 11:30. All right, I'm gonna try to get him in. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get him in in a minute. Let me put him on my phone. You almost hit that. You almost hit that motherfucker every day. Hey, you know, you know mm-hmm. when you almost when you look at it and you be like, did I hit? Yeah. One of them moments right there. When you look, you took the man. <laughs> Listen, man. Listen, man. I thought I was on my way to the dealership. <laughs> hey, I hadn't even looked at the number until you were saying something. Yeah, yeah, I was on my way to the dealership. I, I, ain't, I, ain't, I, ain't, talking about, I ain't talking about no plan to see, but I want that one right here in cash. Make sure he get the commission. Oh, man. <laughs> mm-hmm. For sure. For sure. Uh, yeah. For sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got, my, I, got, I, got my, I got my eyes on some shit. You know what I mean? I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to see what, 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 what's going to happen with this bridge collapse. They say we might be back to work in May. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I'm just trying to see what's gonna happen. Um, I'm just trying to see what's gonna happen out of that. But I gotta get, I gotta get something. I gotta get something. Oh man, I feel you. I feel you. Yes, indeed. 
It's time I just time I treat myself, man. Scale Scrubatory said all access got an exclusive after the show last night. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, yes, sir. Oh my gosh, y'all in for a treat too. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I live for a treat too. Yeah, yeah. I forgot. I appreciate you, Scale. I forgot about that one. Yeah, y'all in for a treat too. G Peasy, what's up, G Peasy? Hey, hey Jay, all I'm gonna tell you is you might have to get ready for a road trip, Jay. Uh -huh. If, 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 I, if, if, I, if I get the call saying it's a go, we're going to have to take this road trip, Jay. All right. Talk to me quick. No, I won't. Hey. <laughs> hey. Hey, and it's going to be worth your while, too, Jay. I like it. I like it. I like so, it. Yes, indeed. Right, well, so, you know what I mean? Yeah, one more person I think tried to call in. Let me get that one. I think that might be Tampa Tunnel. Well, I, 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 still got, I still got some more burning desires left. I ain't even done yet. Okay. I ain't even get the Abdullah Basin. Right, well, God I, damn. I, I, damn. I yeah, you like, Ray, you like, you like, the, you like, the, you like the king of the uh, fashion. You let him have his time. You like boxing and you podcast. <laughs> Can I get mine? Yes, sir. God damn. I'm part of the JBT Network. I know you are. I know y'all. I, mean, I, 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 I thought you were finishing, bro. That's all. Go do your thing, man. I ain't, I ain't got, out, I'm, I'm only at second base. Come on, you whining now when you be talking now. Come on, man. I'm I'm only at second base. I'm just rounding around the third, man. Lord. <laughs> <laughs> nah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. But what you think about that kid of Dula Mason, man? What you think he's going through this I weekend? I love him, man. I think another knockout. That's what I think. Yeah. I, 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 I reached I reached out to him. I gotta reach out to him again. Mm -hmm. nah, I, 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 I want I want to get I want to get him on the show too. Yeah, without a doubt, get them all on there, man. Get them all on there. Man, listen, man, listen, man. Like, like because it, like the thing is, they like I was thinking yesterday, like they gotta understand, like these uh uh a uh, uh, match room, the zone. PBC, Showtime, Prime. They need to start cutting us a check, man, because we the promotional companies in all actuality. Oh, man. You know what I mean? We the one promoting these fights, talking about them getting the buzz going, getting the fans, you know what I mean, riled up and going back and forth, man. They got to show us some, sort of, some type of phone, man. Soon come. Soon come, my brother. Soon come. Sure. Yeah. yeah, man. We out here, you know what I mean, promoting the fights. Letting them. Some of these fights, people don't even know where they transpire or take place. You know what I mean? If it wasn't for us. Trust me, soon come, man. Yes, indeed. You know what I mean? Rome wasn't built in a day, but once it was built, yeah, well, I, you knew about it for the rest of the lifetime. I, yeah. I, I need to know who to turn my grievance letter into. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a disgruntled employee right now. After a while, you ain't going to have to, brother. Trust me. Mm, no nah, man, no, nah, I appreciate it. No, nah, thanks for having me on. Shout out to the JBT Network, man. Everybody, all the fans, all the family, all the supporters, man. Appreciate you, man. I'll catch y'all later on. I, uh, hey, what we doing tonight, Jay? What we doing tonight, Jay? You still in the show again tonight, or what? Uh, it don't make me a difference. Whatever y'all want to do, man. You know me. I'll be the Huckleberry. It's whatever. Whatever. Man, hey, hey, last night, last night you burnt me down, though, man. Last night? No, I said last time you burnt me down. You on you on your cousin uh uh the experience. <laughs> you burnt me down, man. Like, you know what I mean? I need I need I need Miss Jeff Do hit him with the eighty six eighty six K before he even get started. And then uh GP guy was sent to the house of Ruth. So you know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if yeah, he, man, I don't just... know if he can come back out on Friday nights. <laughs> Yeah, just let me know. Uh, just let me know what you're gonna do, man. You All know right, what I mean? All right, but <laughs> oh, <God. All> right. <laughs> hey, y'all, uh, real burning desire, man. Last one, man. If there's anybody else that need to call and got a burning desire, go ahead and do so. Or forever hold your peace, GPs. What you over there laughing at, bro? We just, we just, just glad that you're okay, bro. <laughs> We glad GP okay, man. There's a GP wasn't playing up in there, Jack. At all. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mrs. GP don't play. Yes, indeed, man. <laughs> Four four three six eight seven ninety eight zero six. Let me uh put the number back up, mate, just in case nobody sees it. 
403-687-9806. Burning desire. Get it in now or forever. Hold your peace of it, man. Or forever hold your peace of it. <laughs> yes, indeed, man. Another fire show. Somebody from uh, Louisiana. Talk to me quick before I forget. It's your boy Hardcore. Who is this? William. What's up, Win? I'm gonna have to call back. I cannot hear you at all. You can't hear me. Hell. All right, call me back. All right. All right. Yeah, all right. We ain't old school. Gonna call us back, y'all. Yeah. Four, four, three, six, eight. Talk to me quick before I forget. It's your boy Hardcore. Is that you, Wham? Well, bit better. I don't know what the hell. It's my phone or whatever. Anyway, turn your hearing aid up, man. No, no I, had, I just checked it with my phone by. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm old. I'm freaking dysfunctional. Yeah, we know that. But th what else new? Yeah, I'm a little cranky every now and then. We know that too. What else new? <laughs> All right. It's hard to get behind Big Baby, dude. Okay. It really is. I mean, how do you get behind somebody who's not dedicated to the sport? He's he's already talking about leaving the sport. Um. And this other guy, I have no clue who the hell he is. Never even heard of this dude. <laughs> He's from Belgium. That's probably why I haven't heard of it. Probably. He's ranked number 30. I mean, I've never even seen him on any of his own cards. Right. You ranked, know what I mean? He's ranked 30 in the world. But I've watched the zone card. I've even watched some of these weird uh, UK boxing things that come on late at night and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. With for, for the unknown people. Mm -hmm. I've never even heard of this guy. Mm. But anyway, side the point, Big Baby should win. I mean, kid's got talent. He really does. I'd like to see him if he actually dedicated himself and said, hey, I'm going for a championship, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think, with, I mean, he's got power. He's got decent speed. Uh, his defense is a little, uh, his, his defense ain't that good. Mm -hmm. Charles Martin exposed that, you know. Um, I don't know, Jay. If he dedicates himself, it'd be one thing. But the way I see him right now, it's kind of hard to get behind him. Mm. Well, we're gonna see, man. Maybe he changes. I don't know. You know, I don't. I don't know how his work, how he works out, or anything like that. I'm just going by his conversations. I don't know if he's a hard worker or a nay, or I haven't heard anything well, like that about him. I heard from a guy I talk to all the time on the side. Mm -hmm. uh, I call him my source. Uh, he told me that in the gym, dude works his ass off. He does? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's good. Right. And he said uh, he spars a lot, and usually he runs through sparring partners pretty easily. Mm-hmm. Not that it, not that he's pulling out anybody really great to spar with, but uh, when he is sparring, he's running through his partners pretty easy. Mm. Okay. So that's why I say, if the kid actually put his mind to it mm -hmm. and decided, hey, this is what I'm going to do, give me five years to try and make champion. If I can't do it in five years, I take a couple losses. Then okay, I could see him saying, okay, let me get out. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. But as of right now. I mean, I just don't see how, I don't know. I've always been of that mindset. If you're going to get into boxing or any other combat sport, you got to be full on in. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. Because if not, you're going to get hurt. This is, this, is, this is the hurt game, bro. This is not like football. This is not like basketball. This is the hurt game. You're not dedicated to your sport, and you're not. Your mind is not all the way in it. You can get hurt badly, or worse. Yeah. I anyway, 
that's how I see it. <laughs> well, hopefully uh, he gets his mind into the game, man. And because uh, I think once he get his mind into the game, he got everything. He got the size. He got everything, man. So I think it'll be okay if he get his mind right. He got to get focused and believing in. I'm going to be in this game. You know what I mean? You can't be thinking retirement. Right. Man, what do you think about Jamel coming back? I don't know. I don't know nothing what's up with none of that stuff, man. Uh, I don't know if he had a seizure. I don't know if he did or if he didn't. I don't know. I don't know what's going no. on with Jamel. I have no clue of that. I was on, I was privileged to a phone call. My, my source. Mm -hmm. And he called uh, two people. One happened to be uh, the trainers. One was an old trainer, and I think another one was Ronnie Shields. Uh, then he actually talked to both of the brothers. Mm -hmm. And they had no idea it was even been, been put out that one of them had a seizure. And they were freaking hostile, man. In fact, they were talking about getting lawyers involved. But was it true or not? Did you the they said it wasn't true at all for neither one of them. Mm. And he talked to both of them. Both of them said, no, absolutely not. Nothing like that happened. Yeah, because uh, they posted Blue said that he had talked to his uh, Jamel's uncle or something. Yeah, well, if the lawyers get involved, dude, it could be pretty for Blue. Mm. You know? Yeah, that's the good thing about the hangout. We don't get involved in stuff like that. Right, right, right. I would look before I'd ever put anything like that out. I think Blue should have checked with them. You know, not his uncle. Talk to the damn camps. But it is what it is. It's all water under the bridge now. You know. But as far as him coming back, um. It's hard to get back in the gym, kill yourself, like they always say, sleeping in silk sheets. You know? Mm -hmm. That money changes people. And he got a shitload of it with, uh, with Canelo. Now, can he put himself back together, get the hungry mindset again, the lying mindset? Because he definitely didn't have it against Canelo. I don't know. I got a lot of questions when it comes to him coming back. I don't know. But I do hear he's back in the gym. Yeah. They're fighting all his life, so I think he'll be okay. Huh? He's been fighting all his life. I think he'll be okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to let you go, bro. I just want, I just want to uh, chime in for a sec. Appreciate you. Always. You take it easy, man. All right? All right, my guy. Right. Later. Peace. All righty. There it is. 443-687-9806. If there's another caller, call in now. It'll forever hold your peace. 443-687-9806. Call in or forever hold your peace. Last real burning desire. <laughs> uh, Lonnie Lee, I appreciate the 10 piece you just gave us, man. Lonnie Lee, always supporting, man. Thank you very much, brother. Without a doubt, I appreciate you. No diggity. I appreciate you, man. Just send a 10-piece to the Cash App, man. Yes, indeed. If you're interested in doing the same thing, the Cash App is scrolling across the screen of it right now. You dig? It goes towards paying some of these bills around. <laughs> Without a doubt. And I appreciate every cent that is given to the Hangout, man, for, for sure. You just don't know. I appreciate it so much. 443-687-9806. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Can't say blue is the king of the clickbait. <laughs> yes, indeed. All right, all right. I guess we done got all the calls in. I appreciate Lottie Dottie and everybody that uh, I, I called in today. Yes, indeedy. But I tell you what, we got the Friday night hangout. We got the Friday night hangout tonight, man. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. We got the Friday night hangout tonight, man. So uh, be there or, or be square. It's going to be at 8 o'clock, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The bar will be open, man, for sure. Without a doubt, man. You know, there's no topic. We just hanging out. You did? Yeah, yeah. We just hanging out. So uh, I tell you what, other than that, it's your boy Jay Hardcore, Hardcore Boxing News. And I'm out of here. Now you turn this damn thing off. Okay. And we out.